Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the present value of an ordinary annuity. But we are just going to show you how to calculate the payment as well as the total interest. So we're going to use the formula to do this. And in our previous lesson, we looked at what the formula for the present value of an ordinary annuity is and how to calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity. So if you'd like to check that one out and other lessons on time value of money, you'll find the links in the description below. But we said, what is the present value? Well, this is the calculation of the value today of a series of payments made at the end of specific periods. At a specific interest rate, you will be able to find out what this series of payments will amount to. So why do we call it an ordinary annuity? Well, when payments are made at the end of each period, the annuity is known as ordinary annuity. So that is what ordinary annuity is. So let's quickly look at the formula for the present value of an ordinary annuity. Here it is. Present value equals PMT 1 minus the sum of 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power of n. And then you take that entire sum divided by i. Then you finally multiply by PMT to get the present value of an ordinary annuity. So what do these letters stand for again? Well, PMT is the annual payment made at the end of each period. I is the interest rate, so it can be written as I or R. They both mean the interest rate. And N is the number of compounding periods. Now, it's not necessarily the number of years, but the number of compounding periods. So if it's compounded annually, then N will be the number of years. But if it's compounded more than once per year, so for instance, if it's compounded quarterly, semi-annually, or monthly, then you have to take note of this statement that I'm just about to mention. If there is more than one compounding per year, you divide the interest rate by the number of compoundings per year to get I. Okay, you will be given an interest rate and you will be told that it's compounded either monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, as long as it's, as it's more than once per year, then you will take that interest rate you are given and divide it by the number of compoundings per year to get the I that you'll put into your formula. And you'll see now with the help of an example that we'll go through. And then you multiply the number of years you're given by the number of compoundings per year to get N. So remember, like I mentioned, if it's compounded more than once per year, you will multiply the number of years by the number of compoundings per year to get your N. So if it's compounded more than once per year, then your N will not be the same as the number of years. So let's take a look at this example, which will help you understand this statement much better. Here's an example. Here we are told that Jack would like to apply for a mortgage loan of 600,000 Rand from the bank at a rate of 11% per annum, compounded monthly over a period of 20 years. What will his monthly payments be on this loan? So here we are told that he would like to get a mortgage loan of 600,000 Rand. Obviously, that is, one, that is the loan he wants to get today from the bank. And the rate is obviously we are given here 11% per annum, but it's compounded monthly. So it's compounded more than once per year and it's over a period of 20 years. So what will he be paying on a monthly basis on this loan? So that is the payment, obviously, we are trying to solve. So here's our formula again. The present value equals to the payment. And that is the X we are trying to solve that because we asked here, what is the monthly payments on this loan? And then one minus one divided by one plus I. What is I here? Remember, it's compounded more than once per year. So what do we do? We take the interest rate that we are given divided by the number of compoundings per year. We are given the interest rate of 11% over here. And we are told that it's compounded monthly. So if it's compounded monthly, it's compounded 12 times in one year because we have 12 months in a year so we'll take 11 percent which is 0 0.11 so you make sure you put it in the in a decimal form when you're plugging it into your formula so 0 0.11 divided by the number of compoundings per year which is 12 so 0 0.11 divided by 12 and if you're gonna get 0 0.11 or the decimal form of a percentage you take the percentage 11 divided by 100 so whatever the percentage is divided by 100 you'll get it in decimal form so 0 0.11 divided by 12, that will go under I. And then for N, we multiply. Remember, we take the number of years times the number of compoundings per year. Now, we know the number of years here is 20 years. We're given and we're told it's compounded monthly. So it's 12 again. So it's 20 
times 12 will give us the end that we'll plug in there and then once you get the sum for the numerator over here you divide it by i which is the 0 0.11 divided by 12 so don't forget to divide it by the number of compoundings per year so let's see how that looks in our formula 600,000 rand is the present value that we are given so that one is we are given remember in our previous example we had to calculate that present value but here we are given and now we have to figure out what the pmt is or what the payment is the monthly payment that you will have to make on this mortgage loan so we do the calculation in then in these big brackets one minus one divided by one plus 0 0.11 divided by 12 as i mentioned to the power of 20 times 12 and then you divide by 0 0.11 divided by 12. now you when you're punching into your calculator make sure you do it correctly okay so what i like to do when i'm punching it into my calculator i like to do this uh this formula here in the brackets first one plus 0 0.11 divided by 12. once i get that answer obviously to the i raise it to the power of 20 times 12. once i get that answer i take one divided by that answer and then once i get that one i'll take one minus that answer and then once i have it so essentially what i'm doing is i'm doing the numerator first once i have it i divide it by 0 0.11 divided by 12 which is the i down here and once i have it i would have multiplied by pmt but we are trying to solve for payment so everything in brackets here we have it right we have everything in these big brackets over here so what will we do we move it to the other side because on the other side which is the present value we already have that figure so we move everything we have which is every the answer in this big bracket we move it to the other side and when we move it to the other side we, we divide it remember here it's a multiplication it's pmt times this big bracket so if we move it to the other side it's going to be six hundred thousand divided by that answer of everything in this big bracket so what does it become six hundred thousand divided by 96.88 remember this 96.88 is everything within this brackets here which is everything over here which we'll have calculated and gotten the answer and that will give us what the payment is and what is the payment the payment is 6193 rand 13 cents that is the payment he will have to make every month if he gets the mortgage loan of 600,000 rand at the rate of 11 percent per annum compounded monthly okay and then if the question arises what is the total interest that he will pay what is the total interest that we will pay like this question says here how much interest will jack have paid by the end of 20 years so he wants to compute how much interest will i be charged or will i be will i have paid if i paid this payment of 6193 rand 13 cents well how do we calculate it well the first thing that we have to calculate is what is the payment he will have made by the end of 20 years so remember he's making a payment of 6193 rand 13 cents every month for the next 20 years okay so let's calculate how much those payments will amount to by the end of 20 years well the total payment is the 6193 rand 13 cents times 240 monthly payments how did we get 240 well it's the 20 years that is times the 12 months so 20 years times 12 months per year will give us 240 monthly payments that you will have made and that gives us a total of 1,486,351 rand 29 cents we can now solve how much interest he has paid in total remember he took out a loan of 600,000 rand so we're going to take the total amount he will he will have paid minus the mortgage loan amount or the principal amount he will have taken out so the total interest is the 1,486,351.29 minus the 600,000 uh, loan he will have received from the bank to for this mortgage loan and it gives us total interest of 886,351.29 so you can see he has, he has paid more interest than the actual loan he took out and that is the power of compounding and we did a lesson on this one here the power of compounding we showed you exactly how it works and why it works this way and i hope this lesson has made sense i hope you have gained value from it and if you have please consider subscribing to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers